time to paint our practice sheet. So first let's get a couple of different brushes out here. I have a watercolor brush and that is very soft, has a lot of bend to it. And I have one that's an all-purpose brush, has a little more spring to it. And so this one we'll use when we do our splattering. I'm going to lay my brushes over here for a second and show you something very quickly. Um, today we're going to use the pan watercolors, but there are other kinds of watercolors too that you can get in the tube. It's a concentrate, and when you put a little bit out, you activate it with water just like the other ones. It's really nice. It will give you some very vibrant colors, but for simplicity, we're going to use these today. So our flat wash is just a, a plain wash of paint that evenly covers the surface. And I, as you can see, I'm putting a little bit of water to activate all my paints so that when I do need them, they're ready to go. So let me grab some paint here. You can go right over the top of your words. You should be able to see your paper through the paint. It should have some transparency to it. And you can always go over it again if you want a little more color. You can see the paint is dragging very easily. If you have excess paint, dry your brush off. Pick some it back up if you don't like that much paint on huh? You can see how I'm going back and forth with my paintbrush. All right, let's do a graded brush. A graded brush is gradually getting lighter or darker. So I am going to start with a little bit of blue here. I'm going to rinse my paintbrush out, dry it off a little bit. Pull what I have. Rinse it off again. There we go. All right, let's do layers. Layers. I like layers because they give you depth to your paint. So we'll put down one layer, let it dry for a minute, and we'll go back to it. Otherwise, we'll just be mixing it to make one color. I want to see the difference between the two layers. There we go. Go on to blotting. Blotting, let's lay down a color. And by the way, you can mix any colors you want. So I have this plate off to the side. I could take it and change my colors. Now, while it's still wet, you are going to pick it back up with something. It could be your paintbrush you're blotting it with. You could take a paper towel. I love how you're able to get different textures with blotting, pulling it back up. Blending. That's my other paintbrush. Blending. We're going to blend two colors together. You could pick complementary colors and make brown in the middle, or you could make a new color for primaries. Um, let's layer, let's take a little bit of yellow and we'll blend it in with some red. So I'm going to lay down this color first. I'm working with it while it's wet. I keep water on my brush at all times. Pull the two together in the middle. Okay. My layers is almost dry. So let's do a dry brush. Dry brush, I would usually normally tell you not to do this to your paintbrush. But I'm going to let it get dried out. I'm going to dab it over here. I always call that a bad hairdo, and I don't like you to use that, but once in a while you may need it for a little bit of texture. So I have a little bit of paint water over there. I'm just going to take it and dab it on here. I'm 
baby while I have that. I'm going to take a little bit of blue and do it in there too. Yeah. Scumbling is the same as when we do other scumbling as far as with pencil. It's a controlled scribbling. So let's lay down. Maybe I'll scumble over the top of a color. Let's see, what do I want to use today? Let's go ahead and use a little bit more yellow. I'll scumble a little bit of green over the top of it. I could scumble different colors, so I'm just going to do one right now. Take a little bit of green. It's a little bit of the same effect as the dry brush. There we go. Alright, resist. Resist is using something, could be wax based, oil based, um, to resist the paint from going into the paper. So I have a white crayon. It doesn't matter what color. You can use any that you want. This could be kind of interesting to make a pattern. Giving it a little bit of pressure, pressing down. Let's take a little purple over the top of it, see what we get. Oh, cool. like our purple did not sh let it show very well. I think my crayon needs to work a little better. Pattern over the top of the pattern. So I didn't press down hard enough. Let's try it again. There we go. And masking. Masking is just taking, I have some little pieces of tape over here I had ready to go. I'll put a little, press it down. Little torn pieces. Do something kind of funky. Have a little fun with our colors. And then we'll let that dry. I feel like there's a little bit too much paint right there, so I'm going to dab it back in. My okay, wet and wet. If your water's still clean, this works really well. I'm going to take some clear water, and I'm going to put some color into it. So let's just dab it in and let it go. Salt. Have some salt handy. Um, I'm going to, I wanted this really to stay wet while I'm working with it, so I put down a little extra water. Salt is a drying agent, so we can place some on, onto our paint. It will pull it, it will give you kind of a starburst effect. So let's sprinkle a little bit on there. 
watch it do its thing. I wish my crayon would have worked a little better. While our layers is dry, let's go back up there and take care of that. We'll put an extra layer on top of it. Really like the green on top of the yellow. Okay, splattering. Splattering, I'm going to take my other paintbrush, the one that has a little more spring to it. Dip it in here. Now, I usually flick it off my finger so I can control it a little bit better. Instead of flinging it, I don't want to fling it, I want to control it. There we go. Water drop, we'll be taking, let's take some color. Let's actually mix up the colors this time. We'll make it a little bit different. I'm going to take a little bit of blue. A little bit of green. Mix them together. A little more yellow. Make this pretty kind of aqua color. A little bit of hair from that. My brush, you can see it. It's pretty me. Right. Get it off there. Oops, forgot. I have this color over here. And drop a little bit of water into it. Last one is our plastic wrap. Take some color. Fill in my space and while it's still wet I'm going to lay a piece of plastic wrap over it. It will draw it to the surface of the paper Plus, it will give you patterns of whatever you lay, however you lay down your plastic. So if I lay it like that, that's what I'm going to get when it dries. Our salt is still trying to work, I see. When your salt dries, it will give you kind of an effect like that. And we can peel off the tape and see what this looks like. Neat. There you go.